of me two zero two two. This is two months old, but yes, like that. Okay. Now the complaint was the wheezing sound. The owner heard heard the sound. It's like, like yeah. And uh, this sound, luckily, is only the first two days. Uh. That means it's the starting of of the upper respiratory tract infection, and uh, but this. Red ear slider is still eating and uh, drink, eating and drinking and pooping, right? Mm. Uh, so, so the, it's the early, early uh, stage of the respiratory infection. Now, on examination, the eyes are okay. You can see the eyes are not not swollen. Is the eyes closed? Because it looks smaller. Now, this one has always been in the water for how many hours a day? Probably twenty hours, huh? and so it doesn't have time to dry up. So one of the reasons could be insufficient basking uh, and the owner has this very uh, very uh, what the unusual basking platform which I can show you. It is not normal to have this type of basking platform. Uh. You see it's more like conical. Now this, this is more for fish, fish tank and then she got this white shell to prop it up and then there is a bridge here. And the two radius slider, this is a smaller one. They like to go to the corner. So this one always go under the water most of the time. So that's why it gets uh, what we call the respiratory tract infection because not, not enough dry uh, basking. So this, this setup is no good. This setup is no good because this is not a basking platform. And uh, also, this, this slider likes to eat the paints, right? The paints from the bridge, right? Yeah. So, so she will buy a new proper basking platform. I think the one the seashells, I'll take the seashells. Mm -hmm. Probably the bridge is the one mm -hmm. because of the paint. Uh. And also, this slider likes to eat the, the filter from the tube, uh, filter tubes. It's charcoal, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, that's not a good, good habit. Then the other thing is, uh, I noticed that this, this slider is two months old, about 23 grams. Huh? Now the shell is actually a bit soft, but it's not very bad. You can feel it. Huh? There you can see, indentation. You can see, uh, like go in like that. So it is soft shell there. Eh? You can see better here. It goes downwards. Huh? You can see the thing sinks. And then there's a white spot here, not so bad, but one, one shell rot. Now at the bo at the lower part of the shell, you can see it's also very soft. Huh? But it's not so soft as others. Now as long as, as the red ear slider is eating, uh, so the chances are very good for recovery. So we will give antibiotics and supplements of vitamins and calcium and uh, give it the light. So for three days huh? after that, she will buy the new platform or put put the new platform, mm. and uh, I advise her to let the let the slider go under the sunlight on some uh, empty uh, co a container so that the slider won't run to inside the water to hide away from the morning sunlight half an hour, the direct sunlight, and then uh, evening about four p.m half an hour if, if possible then she will buy an ultraviolet light which should shine straight onto the slider and not over the whole tank so these are the advices and the pellets she, she will fit separately from the other one so that this one ha has enough food to grow because the other one has eaten more right so the other one is bigger size and keep pushing this one off the the platform and so this one doesn't have much time, much time to bask. Now basking is important for red ear sliders. They cannot be in the water for a long 20 hours. It should, should not be that way. Otherwise they wouldn't grow, grow well, you see. Okay, finish. So you can remember everything. Today is 5th May 2022. This three years later, about two months old, came in with a complaint of loud 
wheezing sounds from the nose. For the last two days, the owner was worried about these sounds. So on examination, this slider is still very active. As you can see, it has this uh, normal writing reflex. It can turn backwards, turn upwards on the shell when, when it's upside down. So the chances of him recovering from his respiratory tract infection are very good. Uh, the onset is only two days of wheezing, sniffing sounds. So with treatment, antibiotics, sunlight, and uh, feeding, this slider should recover within three days. The owner has to buy a new basking platform and uh, she's buying a UV light which is now out of stock according to the suppliers and uh, I advise her to let this slider have 30 minutes of morning sunlight on a dry container rather than being submerged inside the water and uh, feeding should be separate from the other one which is bigger and uh, you can see the other video the problem was this writer spent most of the time submerged in the water due to insufficient space for basking the owner had a conical structure for basking there is insufficient space for two siblings to bask on, onto this conical structure see, see the other video and so this one spends most of the time inside the water eating the paint of the bridge and eating the filters so This results in respiratory tract infection and uh, since the owner discovered it early, chances are good that this radius ladder will recover after antibiotics treatment and uh, basking. I shall stop now. Today is May 5th, 2022. This is a two months old red ear slider came with the complaints of respiratory problems and shear rot. So now we put into the water and then uh, put under the sand for about 30 minutes in the morning. The therapy is active in eating well. Overnight he also took about two pieces of the stool and then finish all the food. We didn't hear any sounds for the respirations and then the shell is much better already for the treatment we give uh, antibiotics and multivitamins to the therapines and then we also do the shell treatment this is the condition of the therapines now today 7 of May 2022